1987, Glenwood, Michigan, a small town in the northern part of the state. Small population, around 10 to 15,000 people. It's about to approach midnight, actually. Uh, anybody with responsibility the next day is fast asleep, but you hear the sound of a skateboard treading along the pavement. There is a young man skating through the streets underneath the... the, the <laughs> Oh, man. Eli, would you like on to the locks. describe your character for me? Uh, so my character is kind of scrappy looking. He's got uh, long red hair, kind of looks a little bit like Sean White. Uh, if you took Sean White and Rufio and like put them together, Rufio from Hook, yes. Um, uh, that's kind of what he looks like. He's wearing, uh, well, kind of the same outfit, a white shirt. Um, and uh, yeah, he's scaling along, puffing along. So you are trying desperately to find a gift for your foster sister. You guys have a long-standing tradition of giving her a gift at midnight, being the first one to wish her happy birthday. Oh, that's um, so sweet. But <laughs> due to your uh, troll-making ways, you're saving it for the last thing of the day. Um, please make me a grit roll. Ooh, that 20. It's a 10. 10. Well, you know that you can't afford a gift at this point, but your street smarts does inform you that uh, you know, you're, you're past curfew, so you might be in, in trouble as you're going forth, but there is a place open that's kind of on Main Street in 7th, which is a convenience store. Um, what do you plan on doing? What's your plan for this night? Uh, well, I mean, I gotta get my sister some, uh, some Razzies, you know? Uh, razzles. Some Razzles, yeah. Razzles, but we, right? we, the the razzles. nickname, nickname, Razzles. We call them razzies. razzies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the kids are calling <laughs> <laughs> Razzies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, hmm. So I gotta either find something to, to barter or I gotta steal it, you know? All right. Uh, make... Who owns this? Like, is, the, is it like a corporate store? Like, it, it's, a, it? it's a family owned store, actually, oh, just by one old man, which you. Okay. Well, in that case. Are about to. Well, he's a dick. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah. It's only five. Yeah, yeah. He's a dick. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> So make me a flight roll, please. Let's see if you get there in time. You check your watch, and it's about 11.37 p.m. So How it's far getting, is it? It's, it's, it's a couple blocks, so. It's a oh, nine. Blocks? Oh, okay. That's good. I think so. You know? For a 12. That's decent. That'll get you there. Um, okay. You shred up. You shred up to the, the start of this convenience store, and uh, the, the door uh, kind of has that, like, jingle, like one of the doorbells as you walk Ding. in. It's very late at night. You're the only one there, but behind the counter is Mr. Brooks. He's got like thinning hair, and he's like an older kind of grumpy guy. As he notices you walking in, he kind of like shifts his like attention, like he's definitely got his eyes on you. Hey, Brooks. What are you doing here? Just, uh, just here to get a Slurpee, you know. I go over to the Slurpee machine. Um, gotta get that 11:40 Slurp in, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna take. Not suspicious at all. Are there? Do I, what do you say? What do I have like rubber bands with me? Is that like something that that would be like around? If you want them, you got them. I would like rubber bands, and I. Oh God, what's happening? I am going to uh, turn the handle, and I'm gonna put the rubber band on it to keep it turning. I'm gonna put a large cup there. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I'm gonna wait for it to overfill and I'm gonna call. Mr. Brooks, uh, there's something wrong with the uh, Slurpee machine. What did you do this I, time? I, I, dude, I don't know. It's just overflowing, man. I don't know. It's not my fault you don't do maintenance, man. <laughs> he uh, walks around the counter. You notice that he has a baseball bat in hand. Can I see the... Ooh. <laughs> he, he's gripping it like... He's gripping it like this. He's not gripping it like in a handle, but he comes over and... Uh, is about to look at the machine. What do you do in this instance? Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm kind of finagling with it, right? So yeah, it's yeah. already it's already created a big mess. Yeah. I'm gonna like I'm gonna quickly like take the rubber band off if I can. Okay. Um, as he's walking over, he's 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 fast and he's like a he's like <laughs> he's, he's, walk, he's walking up to you. Um, he sees that you're tinkering with oh, it. Oh, Mr. Uh -oh. Brooks, I think I figured it out. Hey, check this out. I show him the rubber band. I think someone tried to prank you, man. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. That sucks. Get the hell out of here. All right, all right. Room. Jesus, Jesus. Can I at least get my slippery? No. <laughs> all right, fine. And as I walk by the Raz, I'm gonna try and take them while he's cleaning up the mess. Nice. Okay, make me a flight roll. Ooh. Get these Razzies. Oh, fuck. Oh. Four. Ooh. Dang. 
you stand issues. right there and I'm calling the cops. Oh. I have had. Bro, what are you talking about? You I, saw, I haven't even bought these yet, and man. Stealing from me. I run. <laughs> okay. Uh, make another flight roll there oh. as you're trying to dodge oh, you're him. As he, I know. Oh this this right old away, man is now <laughs> actually swinging at you with this oh bat. Do I have the Razzies? You do have them. Okay. You, you grab them oh when you're God. going. No! Oh. At least it wasn't that one. I that thought was it was going to be that one. What was it? A, w a four. A four. Oh. His bat comes swinging, but he's uncoordinated, and you guys are in these thin aisles, so the bat connects with the shelf first and kind of takes the blunt force as it just really smashes a bunch of candy wrappers all over you. Like, he misses <laughs> there. But he's trying to get in front of you and block the door. Oh. I'm going to send you back to fucking orphanage. Oh. Oh. This Mr. That's Brooks guy. Uh, I know, that is... Hey, uh... Bite me. I'm gonna take my skateboard. I'm gonna try and swing at his legs. Whoa! Oh, you can kill this old man, bro. <laughs> Make a fight check for me, please. Holy smokes! Six. Six. So your board connects with his leg, and he's kind of old and frail. So he drops the bat. He's like, ah! You have a moment. I'm gonna sprint. Make another flight check. Fuck. What the oh, heck? You're not rolling it. <laughs> you escape. So you feel the cold air as you burst out of that convenience store as I'm assuming you're going to try and get on your skateboard yes. and get the hell out of there. Although as I'm running out, I'm going to yell, it's just a pack of Razzies, asshole. He, yeah. as you're trying to skate away, he comes limping out. If you ever come in this store again, I'll shoot you. You hear me, you punk ass shit. You both see at the same time, there is a perch cop car staying oh there on main and mm. fourth uh -oh. who's just sitting there as mr brooks then looks to the officer hey officer oh. shoplifter oh as the sirens go oh, and no. he's like this is why i joined the force oh my <laughs> as God. he then Sirens blazing, takes his car, and it's kind of doing a, a, a U-turn to start pursuing you. So there you are, skating underneath Main Street, pop sirens behind you. Pull over, pull over. What's your first move? Uh, I flip them off. No. <laughs> uh, They're like, I wonder who that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna duck into an empty alley, well, hopefully one that I know. Make a flight check. Come on. Ten. Much better. Ten. Much yeah. better. Ten. You cut through an alleyway going through, you kind of cut through a middle lane there and you end up on another side trying to get home. The cop car goes around the block. One more to get away from this guy. All right. Eleven. Nice. Ooh. That's the one cop. Tell about. me how you get out of here. <laughs> All right, uh, so you said he's, he, he came to the, he's trying to cut me off, yep. off on the other side of the alley. Um, I'm gonna, have, the buildings aren't that big, right? No. I'm gonna scale one really quick. Dang, if like possible. Spider Man? Like, so you're gonna, you're gonna get <laughs> off your board and like climb like what, like a side pipe or something like that? I was like, yeah. Who's <laughs> got it? You know what? Eleven says it's impressive, so okay. that sounds pretty impressive <laughs> to me. Uh, yeah, you scale one of the buildings, so. Uh, uh, you're, you're now on one of them. What are you, gonna, gonna, what are you doing along, now? I'm just gonna run along for. Uh, I mean, the buildings. It's like a, it's like Escondido, right? So it's like short areas in between, and like yeah. so I'm gonna just go from building to building uh, until I get to an area that I can't. Yeah. Right. Pass. Yeah. Right. Okay, so you're a different breed. Wait, take me. You're gonna try and find a way to like <laughs> see where you went. Obviously, mm. he can't see you. Um, you. Are in the clear, Maurice.
job, co oh, Cola. Oh, God. I was called Cola. <laughs> Wait, Cola? Cola. Cola. Um, God, Sandy better appreciate this. Cola? Cola. Like Coca-Cola? <laughs> yeah. Like butt in Spanish? Yeah. All right. So the thing is, uh, so when he was young, he, or when he was younger, he, uh, tried to, he tried to jump a, a cola truck and, uh, oh. and uh, he kind of broke his nose while doing it too. Nice. And so he got a, that's one of, his nose is kind of broken. He's broken it a few times. But your friends call you Cola because yeah, of that. Yeah, because of that. So you just it's evaded fine. the police. You, um... You, you make it back home, uh, so you're in the lower class section of the town, uh, kind of like a beat up single family home. Um, definitely needs a paint job. Uh, lawn's not really maintained anymore, but it's a uh, it's kind of away from people a little bit. Like it's not in, like a suburbs or anything like that. Um, how do you get in? Your your watch now says eleven fifty eight. I'll just do what's fastest. Um, Okay, so but I will do it quiet like so as not to wake Henry. Okay. Um please make me another flight check for me, please. <laughs> four. Why does it like the four so much? Door kind of creaks on your way in. You're walking through the it's like there's like a living room and then there's like a small hallway which will take you to Sandy's room there. Um as you're about to enter the hallway, you hear an unsettling voice. It is the voice of your foster father. Um, he seems to be sitting in front of a, a TV. He's not even watching it. It's just pretty much just white noise, whatever is on there. But he's uh, he's got a lit cigarette and he has a beer bottle that he seems to have been hidden pretty hard um, throughout the night. What did we talk about you being out late? <coughs> To avoid it if possible. And what time are you coming in right now? Late. He chucks his beer bottle at your head. Please make a flight check. <sighs> Come on. Oh, sh Eight. One of the shards does scrape your cheek and draws a little bit of blood. Maurice, what did we talk about? Not to come home late. And I won't do it, all right? God. When you see your sister, Tell her to clean this shit up. I'm tired of you lazy sons of bitches living in this house, not doing anything around here. Do you want to be thrown back in the system? Just one more year, just one more. No, no, Dad. No, I don't. Think you'll make it out there, hmm? About to turn 18? You're asking to be on the street. Yes, sir. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock on Sandy's door. Do we share a room? Does she have her own room? She has her own room. Okay, uh, I'm gonna knock on her door. The door doesn't have a response, but um, it does seem to be unlocked. I'm gonna open the door and peek my head in. So, <laughs> Sandy, as you um, as you enter the room, uh. You, first off, you see like a Duran Duran uh, poster on there, um, and just like it's like got some like flowers and stuff. Like it's like it kind of throws you back to like the good times. You remember her setting it up. Uh, you remember when things used to be a bit more peaceful and everyone was a happy, happy family. Um, you missed your chance to wish her happy birthday at midnight. Um, to to your surprise, as you enter the room, there's actually a cold breeze going past you as you see that uh, your sister Sandy has her window open. She actually has one foot out the window as if she's about to uh, sneak out. Oh. But she looks up and she notices you and she smiles and she's like, I can explain. She like, <laughs> she, uh, crawls back in. Uh, how, how do you proceed? <laughs> what can I explain? That you suddenly got cool? <laughs> I'm definitely not spending my birthday night here, that's for sure. I was oh. gonna go to Dylan's and listen to some records. Well, you want some company? I don't know if I want you third wheeling, little bro. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> she's older? I don't know she was younger. younger. So she's a older sister, she's senior year, oh. he's junior year. So I thought she was like a baby. And they're not blood related either. Too. I know. All right, sis, so um, 
to. If you want to go have some fun, um, happy birthday. Enjoy your 18th year. Uh, welcome to the land of the adults. I don't know why I said welcome. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> um, have fun. Heard it sucks, uh, but have some Razzies. It makes the time better. Oh, thank you. She's like, she looks at it and she just, there's so many memories of you guys sharing this candy together over the years. Um, and thank you for the best present in the world, but I need another present from you. Uh, I need you to cover for me until I get back in the morning. Mm. Can you, can you do that? I'll do my best. Okay. Um, I guess I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Also, you're late. Yeah, yeah, I got, a uh, I got held up. I heard. You heard part of it. Did I tell you I got away from the cops again? <laughs> hey, 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 you guess know what I that you're one away from being thrown in juvie. What uh, are you doing? Come right, on. but uh, not that one yet. Guess what I did? What did you do? I climbed the building and I jumped from building to building like goddamn Spider Man. <laughs> man. God is fucking nuts. Cop had no idea where I went. I don't even know what to say anymore, but I guess I'm impressed. Oh, thank you, thank you. Maybe I you'll do, teach me how to try. scale buildings or, or something. <laughs> I didn't know you were like a superhero vigilante. Oh, whatever, they, whatever they have in those comics that you read every now and then. Um, Comedy guy. But uh, I guess I better get going. Yeah, go have fun with the uh, Jeff? Dylan. <laughs> Dylan. You've Dylan. met him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I know there's been a few, tower, but... Uh, most of these guys in this town are a little... Uh, I'm assuming. Yeah, Dylan you know, is different, all right? Well, sure, I, yeah, I, all right. I, I think yeah. Dylan's a keeper. I, For I, now. Yeah. Maybe a week. <laughs> <laughs> that switched fast. Got <laughs> <laughs> options. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, how fun is this? And she then crawls out the window as you then enter the hallway. Um, is there anything that you do to cover for her? Or I'm gonna set up her blanket so it looks like she's still in bed. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so you do that. Your room lock is broken from an altercation that you had with your foster father. It's been kicked in. Ooh, so your door is like a little bit splintered. Yep. Um, but okay, you uh, go to sleep then and you awaken in the morning. Uh, you notice that those glass shards from the bottle he broke are still oh. on the ground. Okay, so if I see them, I'm definitely gonna take some time and clean them up. So, um, oh. you try and do that, he, but you hear a voice call out to you. I thought I told you to have her do it. Oh, sorry, you can't I, keep I, covering for her. I, I didn't, I just, I forgot to tell her about it. It was my, it, it was my, it was my bad, dad, all right? It was my bad. I was, this is, this is on me, and I'm, I am sorry. Get her to clean it up. Yes, sir. I'm going to go and uh, knock quietly on my sister's door really quick, on Sanders, Sandy's door. Uh, your knocks kind of echo through the room, but there's no answer. Uh, do, I, do I see where my dad is? Uh, your dad's in the living room. Okay, um, is there any window I could sneak out and then sneak into her room? <laughs> there most certainly is. Okay, could I do that? Yeah. So you crawl out your window and you go to your sister's window and Sandy is not in there. The window was never closed and the, the blinds kind of, or the drapes just kind of flow violently in this kind of aggressive wind but she never came Dude. home. Of course. Across the town <laughs> and in, in the upper class neighborhood, a two story luxurious home <laughs> within her perfectly <laughs> meticulous bedroom, okay. Meadow Myers awakens. Uh, there's not a detail <laughs> overlooked within this room. Uh, Miss Meadow Myers, would you like to describe your morning routine? I got my outfit already, mm -hmm. nice, pressed, pressed clean. Nice, nice. Got my glasses, put my hair up, mm -hmm. brush my teeth very thoroughly, two okay. minutes. Oh, not a second Floss. over. Not a second over. Floss. Floss. <laughs> <laughs> the back teeth too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got, and I got my, I'm getting my book bag ready too to go to school. Nice. 
and uh, I'm going downstairs, gonna eat some breakfast. How heavy is that book bag? bag? It's, it's, a, it's not too heavy. I can carry it to school, but it's got some. It's got some. It's got some classics. It's got like yeah. <laughs> That's a so weapon, everybody. So. <laughs> Take note, that is a weapon. Knowledge um, is, we is my so weapon. So, before you head Knowledge. down for breakfast, you actually finish the final clacks on your typewriter, oh, finishing yes. your 30-page term essay on Greek literature. Oh, this yeah. thing is worth <laughs> half your grade, and um, Miss Shoemaker uh, is very strict. And so you want to make sure that you are the first to turn it in. Oh! Um, and this grade matters a lot. You got college applications next year, so... Gotta get into a good school. You walk down the spiraling kind of staircase. It's like a nice... It's, if anyone's seen Clueless, she's like, <laughs> walk, she's like walking down <laughs> Clueless, that's uh, the, that staircase, as you um, run to your mother, Karen. Uh, she looks kind of like, kind of a little bit hyper and a little bit overactive. And she gives you a perfectly made lunch that has perfectly like, cut squares, no crust, uh, just the way you like it. It's just all proper. Uh, good luck today, my You're going to do so great. You're going to get you're gonna get the A. You're going to go to a great school and make lots of money and do all the great things. And... Thanks, Mom. But watch out. Uh... Watch out for people on the sidewalk when you're riding your bike. Do look out for cracks. If you flip over, you'll crack your neck. And then also don't even think about going in the street because if you go in the street, Man, you're gonna get hit by a drunk car. driver. Yes, and I know, yes. watch out. I'm, okay. I, I, I know, it. Mom. You've been telling me this my whole life. Trust Chew me. Chew your food slowly so you don't choke. I turn it You don't want to choke. You know I turn my food to liquid before I swallow <laughs> it. <I'm... laughs> That's, That's my funny. daughter. At least 20 times chewing. That's small. I remember when I did that. And also, maybe find some new friends because that one girl you've been hanging around with, like, what is it, Amori? Amoria? Amora. Oh, well, okay. anyways, I, her family's <laughs> trouble, so yeah. I think you should maybe find Mom, some. Mom, she does yearbooks. She takes friends. photos. What, what trouble is she? She's actually been really nice, and I don't have a lot of friends, Mom. She's then literally my only friend. Why does she come from a single parent home? Um, okay. Hmm, that means that there's damage within the family, meaning that she cannot function oh, properly mom, in society. out of everyone you should know best, her mom actually died. So, you should. I wonder why, huh? She oh! probably made a big mistake and she didn't chew her food properly or oh rode her bike on the street. Oh. Anyways, anyways, I don't want to fight with you. I, my blood pressure can't like hate handle it. My blood pressure can't handle it right now, so I'm <laughs> going to go. Yeah, go. Uh, I'll see you later tonight. Be back at 8 sharp. If you're a minute over, you're grounded. Remember that? Any minute That's over wrong. is another week. Well, I'm gonna be home at four reading anyway, so don't worry about it. If you read underneath the tree, watch out because acorns can fall and hit you on the head. <laughs> Crack your skull wide open. I've seen it. I've, I mean, I've heard of it. Read it okay. in the newspaper. Yes, mom. <laughs> Anyways, uh, bye. Bye, 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 as you're, as you're leaving, your, your uh, father spins around in his uh, lazy boy. <laughs> Meadow! Oh my god. Hi, Dad. I'm you ready to school. get this paper turned in? Yep. A plus? A plus plus. That's my girl. God, I'm so proud of you. You're going to do great! <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Oh my gosh. This is, what family have I created? Now, remember, watch out for communists. Oh, oh god. Oh yeah, that's I know, Dad. Don't worry about it. Is that a more uh, communist too? No, she's not. But I, I've read a lot about it, and trust me, I'm knowledgeable. I have all the red flags. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's my girl. Red Humor is just I like your old man's. <laughs> okay, I'm not. A huge I'm going fan back to reading the paper. I'm doing right the now, crossword but... puzzle right now. <laughs> I'm stuck on number seven. Oh god. Goodbye, Meadow. <laughs> Did you watch Red Dawn again? <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, oh my God. you approach the the street. <laughs> you approach the street corner uh, just down the block. Um, oh you don't. You're not neighbors, but you live within the vicinity of Amora, and uh, uh, usually you guys meet up there and you ride to school. Um, some time has passed, and um, she hasn't shown. You're thinking in your mind at this current time, like you're doing all the, the logistics of like timing and stuff like that. If you okay, don't, if you don't leave seven. now, you won't be the first to turn your paper. But your loyalty to your friend, do you wait a little bit longer for her to show up? Usually, she's like right on time. I'll wait because then if she's usually on time, something's wrong. So okay. I want to be there for her. Okay. She's my only friend, so I don't want to. Make the, brains, that off. make the brains roll. I'll still get an A. I'll get an A at least. Maybe not an A plus. Oh my god. 
for Brain turning it in it. first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same thing. It has nothing to do with the content. I know. <laughs> if you turn it in first, you get an A plus. <laughs> Extra credit. Duh. Last oh. kid always gets an F. That's, that's true. <laughs> that's how it is. That's true. Brains roll. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, brains. <laughs> how smart are you? Oh. <laughs> Not what? at all. It, I'm a little tired. Um, what was so it? it's it's an eight. Oh, that's a great roll. Okay, good. That's a great roll. <laughs> okay, I was like, yeah, that's funny, though. That's, a, that's good. That's okay, good. okay, eight. You're doing great. Uh, okay, Thank you. so you wait a little bit longer, and now you're starting. To, your heart's starting to pump a little bit because basically you're at the point where should I stay or should I go? <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, Do I, know, you, I know where her house is, right? You know where her house is, but you know that if you don't leave right now, you're not going to only be you're not only not going to be the first one turning in your paper. You're also going to be late to class, which is a minus ten to points for Miss Schumacher. <gasps> so, dang, <laughs> your whole life's on the line. Wow, high stakes. Uh, I'm not worth it. <laughs> I'll stay. You can stay a little bit longer. I'm just trying to think of what Meadow would actually do, but I feel like she really likes Mora, so Aww. she doesn't want want to be a bad. She's trying to be more. Okay. Outgoing. Okay. Can I just like go real quick to check on her and make sure she's food properly? Okay. Oh, yeah, no. I'm like, oh, maybe no. my brain's maybe starting to like down spiral, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, just she fell in the shower <laughs> and she can't get up, and I gotta go save her. <laughs> so you go riding up the street to your house. Um, it's a smaller house. It's uh, just like a regular standard middle middle class home. Um, there are two cop cars outside of your home as you kind of scope this from afar, you do see that there's no sirens on, but they did park out front and you see a couple sheriffs walking to her door. Okay, then I'm gonna go to school. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. What am I involved in? 360, 360 going back. Um, like, the police are here, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Me, where am I involved with the police? I think the cops know CPR, so. If yeah, the, I'm like, the police got it. I need to go turn in my paper. You killed my dad off already? <laughs> I'm, what? Things will oh. not be forgiven. I didn't do anything. You know that you're going to be late to class, which is a big no-no. Yeah. You're stressing out. But as you're biking through the town, uh, it seems like a nice, vibrant day. You know, there's a, this is a big thing. You're proud of this paper. You've been working on it. It's like, it's like a great paper that you wrote on Greek literature. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. The wind's flowing past your hair. You know, people are saying hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how's it going? So um, you arrive to school and you park your bike in the bike rack. Uh, how um, do you lock your bike, or how do you usually how do you usually maintain? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so I guess just like a normal. <laughs> one lock, two lock, padlock. Pee Wee Herman style. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman style. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna take uh, a military grade material to sorry. rob this bike. No, it happened. Thank you. Uh, so you walk through the hallways now of the Glenwood High School as it's literally just like the most default high school you've ever seen. Any any high school you've seen in media, this is it. This is like the standard like cookie cutter set. Uh, you go pretty much unnoticed through the halls uh, as students are passing you left and right as one of them catches, or one of them comes up to you and you say, Meadow, hi! Uh, coming up to you now is Allie Bergenson. Uh, and you know her as the lead cheerleader. Oh God! And so she's gotten. Oh, um, sorry. Oh no <laughs> no no no! no, oh, no. Actually, we roll a uh, charm. <laughs> we roll a charm roll oh. for me as. Uh... Oops. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> hello there. Sorry, I'm running into. Okay. Ooh. One. <laughs> okay, oh. so yeah, so uh, my sixteen uh, definitely Ooh. works. So you're basically like. She's like a goddess to your eyes, I like <gasps> popularity, <laughs> social structure, you know, like, and she's like looking at you. Um, I'm like, uh, uh, what's it that you got there? Uh, oh, it's just my um, my paper on, on That's so cool. Greek literature. That is literature. <laughs> literature. That is amazing. Sorry. I can't even read thirty pages, let alone write them. Oh so God. that's really impressive. Oh well, I mean, I can help you with your homework if you ever need. Or well, actually, on the subject, um, can tutor you or I have a gift for you for letting me cheat on all the exams this uh, this semester off of you. Oh, you a math oh, class? You got, you yeah, got me a gift? Yeah, I did. Wow, no one's ever like bought me a gift before except my except my mom. And my dad, well, you but... deserve it. I'm only graduating because of you. I just was looking over your shoulder the whole time. 
Oh, well. And you kind of like, you know, you kind of like shifted it over to me. Didn't realize I, you were actually cheating on me this whole time. Or cheating on me. <laughs> cheating on me. <laughs> cheating off of me. Sorry. Is there context going on here? Cheating off of me. All right. We'll work with it. Favorite trope. Cheerleader in the mirror. All right, Phantom, do your work. Cheat off of me. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're graduating. It's, it's kind Good of luck. a, the gift's kind of a secret, though. You have to come with me, though. Um, uh, well, I gotta turn in this paper right now. You're I, already late. Exactly. I'm, Meaning that you've already lost the points, so what's the problem? Well, that will still reflect that on my reputation. She kind of puts her arm around you as she kind of, like, oh God. kind of, like, walks Peer you pressure. over to the, uh, the bathroom there. And she's like, like oh, uh, okay. This is, um... This gift's really special. I had to hide it though in the stall because it's not allowed on campus. Um, don't tell me it's like, drugs. It's not drugs, right? <laughs> oh no. Stop, you're playing this too not, much. Not, not, not drugs. Uh, <laughs> but you definitely might enjoy it. Might have a little bit fun for, oh, for, um, for once. Uh, what is it? <laughs> That's for you to find. It's a gift. It's a surprise gift. I thought we were gift. showing me right now. Oh no, it's right there. So you, it's basically at the, you're in the, the girl's bathroom, and it's like, it's like in one of the, the stalls. No! Oh no. no! Um, nah. I'm gonna. I have to go to class. I'm sorry. She puts her arm. Oh God. On the door, blocking you. Don't deny me, Meadow. Oh my God. Oh Jesus! This is getting dark. <laughs> Make a grit roll. Oh yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I'm playing this too well. Oh, damn. Oh. So first you were seduced oh. by Blushed. Abby. Now right. your grit, your grit would, Shit, have, would like, affect this because yeah. you have just your will is broken. Yeah, I'm like, you that, uh, like you're like so nothing stunned. I say will work. She she has you like like oh like a God. puppet right now as she leads you over to the stall and like, and <gasps> tells you to 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 open it. Oh. As you open it. You spot, like, leaning over the other spot stall, there's a guy in a letterman, uh, you know him as Jack Paulson, what? he has a bucket of water, as you're seeing the water slush around as he's, Timber! As the water drenches you completely, like you just got splashed. You look at your 30 page paper and the ink has cry. been washed off by this water as your, your books and your paper are pretty much drenched as Abby and all the other friends start emerging and laughing at you as they then oh cackle God. and leave the bathroom and Jack Paulson is like, <laughs> see you loser, God. <laughs> and then uh, he then joins them and they all walk away as you're now um, just in the bathroom Jesus. alone. Crying. Uh, crying. Um, <laughs> Should have waited for me. I should have. I should have waited for more. Oh. Digging your fingers through your dress. <laughs> <laughs> so, I even know. Please make one more grit roll. Oh, oh Jesus! I'm on three for three. Let's do it. I'm start today. All right, okay. four. Four. Okay, you can compose yourself enough to go to class. Huh? Maybe this will be a good excuse, and the teacher will give me an extension. <laughs> <For my paper. laughs> okay, you enter the classroom. There's like a puddle every step you take. As yeah, as uh, your classmates are like, what the fuck? like as you're walking in drenched, you have this like sagging like, like the paper like it's like oh. 30 pounds right now, pounds, but it's like really heavy right now as it's like completely oh drenched. As uh, Miss Shoemaker is uh, uh, not impressed. Late Myers, minus 10 points. I'm sorry, this is Shoemaker. I ran into some trouble on the way here and I was wondering if I could have an extension, please. Do I have my paper right here. You and think I... drenching yourself in water to avoid turning in your paper was gonna fool me? I've seen it all. Yeah, I've been a teacher yeah. for 40 years, Miss Myers. You should have just not shown up like five other of your classmates oh today God. that were too scared to turn in their papers. Um, but I have it right here. You can see I wrote 30 pages. It's just the ink is all messed up. You wrote 30 pages, huh? Uh, yes. 
So, if you think you want this, A, eh? you better hope that you can recite it by memory because I'm not buying it. As she starts laughing and goes back to her notes and she's already pretty much put an F next to Meta Myers. Oh, no! So, how do you remember us? Do you attempt to recite your 30 page paper by memory? Yes. Make a brains roll. Oh my God. God. Damn. You got this. I'm gonna try. I'm like, okay, I think I remember. I have a photographic memory. Is that a rolling tray? Oh, <laughs> oh, 30 pages memorized. Easy peasy. So bad. Okay, so. 80 of 10,000. Just kidding. I don't right. know. So I can't even pretend to be. You sound a lover. That sounds brains. A montage. I'm oh. a montage of all of my. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look at her. Do interpretive dance instead. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Literature. Okay. Literature. Miss Schumacher starts going back to her notes, and she's already ignored you as you start reciting your entire thirty-page essay. As as you're like blah 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 blah. As she starts noticing what's happening, and she's like, half your classmates. Think you're a, a psychopath as they're, <laughs> as they're like, and the other half are asleep as you spend the next, I don't know, fucking 30 minutes <laughs> reciting the entire thing by the time that Miss Schumacher is like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I quit. A minute for each page. I'm like, never in my four right right years. You walk out of that class with a hundred percent. That look that you will never forget. Yes. Yeah. Even though I got freaking dumped in water, at least that tw that twenty made it. Better. After the class, after that, whatever Ooh. the hell that was, oh uh, oh a legend, I legendary it. moment. Um, okay. You walk Dang. into the hallway. So Your clothes fun. are a little bit drier now, but you still look like like you just flew in the pool. Um, <laughs> uh, you look to your oh, left God. and you see a squad of cops walking through the hallway. Uh, there seems to be about four or five of them. Please make oh, a brains no. roll. Oh. They, they seem to have a serious look on their face. Uh, some students are kind of cautiously moving to the side of the hallway. Um, what'd you get? Two. Two. <laughs> you use all that brain power. I know. Yeah, okay. so, you, know? <laughs> you can't put any dots together. You can't use your brain power. You can't use things. You can't figure out kind of what's going on. The only thing that you see is that at the end of the hallway, it, it seemed that they were coming from the principal, Principal Callahan's office. Okay. And you see Principal Callahan, like, Completely stressed and flustered. Um, the issue is that you don't know why. Putting her camera in her bag and getting ready for school, and grabbing her ride. skateboard, uh, Walkman, et cetera, whatever ex uh, accessories you have, would you like to describe your character? So, um, Amora Ortega is Latina, <laughs> of course. Brown hair, long bangs, um, brown eyes. Kind of like the artsy kid. Uh, what's your morning prep look like? You just um, and go or what she you do? wakes up on her last alarm, so Fair. she cuts it pretty close. Still does her face routine, uh, brushes teeth, hair. She um, teases it it's a little, <laughs> a little bit frizzy. Um, yeah, curls her bangs <laughs> and little yeah. curlers. Yeah, the little curler. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Is there um. Anything you do before you leave the house? Feed the stray cat. Nice. The neighborhood oh. cat. Is there a name for the stray cat? Or do you, do you just recognize him? Who was a celebrity in the 80s? He was like a big celebrity. Uh, Rick there's like a million. Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> Bowie? Bo yeah, Bowie. Oh, that oh that's cute. Oh, yeah. that's you uh, yeah. you leave out a bowl yeah. for the stray cat, and you realize that Bowie has not touched the food from the last time you gave food out. Um, so Bowie's not here right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. So just oh, please, okay. keep going. Cool. Yeah. As you, um, the, the house is silent, no one's been moving around. You open the front door to two officers standing, trying to look nonchalant. One of them was about to uh. knock mm -hmm. just then as you kind of like, your heart just stops for a second. He's... Hello. Uh, hello? Are you, uh, uh, Mor uh Moro Ortega? Yeah. Um... You mind, mind if we come in? We have a few questions regarding your father. Uh, yeah, is everything okay? Um, yeah, everything should be, everything should be all right. 
Um, you notice that as they're saying this, they're kind of, the, the conversation's a second track, as they're kind of scanning your inside of the house, like at the door inside. Um, your uh, father's been reported missing, so we're, we're looking into the matter. So we were actually wondering if we could uh, ask you a couple questions and whatnot. Um, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, he steps what? in. He, the, the officer steps in. He doesn't ask your permission to step in. Um, uh, all right. Okay. So <laughs> you guys are... Was he, was he gone on business? You guys are sitting um, in the living room, uh, and one of them pulls out... Uh, a notepad. This is a this is a pair. So this is a sheriff and like a, a deputy or something like oh, that. Yeah. And they're they are scanning the the home. Um, uh, where were you last night, uh, Amora? Here, home. Was your father home? Uh, no, he's been away on business for about a week now. When's the last time you uh, saw? When's the last time you saw your your father? Um, maybe two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. It's a long time. Um, would you, would you, could you uh, quickly describe your relationship with your father? Would you, are you close? Are you not close? Would he, does he tell you things? Um, like where he's going, like when he disappears for two weeks? Is that a normal coincidence? Yeah, he's been a truck driver for some time now. So his trips are pretty long. Um, although he's gone for a while, we don't have a bad relationship though, but I don't see him often either but yeah. um one of the officer like gives like a shrug and then points to his watch and the other officer goes i it's time for you to go to school uh but we're gonna we have to stick around we have to take a look around the house it's part of what our it's part of our routine um, um yeah i'd rather stay uh that's all right there um no what was it amora yeah um one of the officers I could take her. I could take her in the car. I would drop you off to school. Make sure she doesn't get get there. Uh, um, get there late. You know, truant. You know, um, <coughs> criminal record kind of stuff. You know. Uh, I feel actually. You know, I think I have a bit of a sore throat. I'm feeling a little <laughs> sick. I think it's best if I stay home. I wouldn't want you to be late. And he could, he's calling your. Bluff, he's trying to intimidate. Please make a grit roll. I had to put them in the <laughs> thing because I didn't know. Uh, Ooh, oh, oh, oh yeah, ten. 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 Yeah. Oh. You, you're not intimidated. You have clear control. You're not flustered. You're not shaken. Yeah. But you do understand the situation. Oh, oh my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. I think it's that time of the month. My cramps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my cramps are so bad right now. You, you got to see the I'm so <laughs> sorry. You, I mean, you want to I... stay? Very well. Search anyways. As the, the second officer starts scanning the bookshelves, uh, looking in between books, looking up, like looking for things, they, they tear out the ceiling electronics in your what? wiring. Um, they are communicating back and forth with their eyes, kind of, as you're sitting there on the couch, like, pretending to be sick. Mm -hmm. um, it gets a little bit more aggressive as uh, the one officer goes upstairs to where your father's study is as you start hearing crashing of like knocking things over, shuffling aggressively. You're seeing papers thrown around. Um, it, it, it seems that uh, it's like a definitely an unjustified search yeah. going on right now. Um, you notice something is in your pocket in your pants pocket as you're like maybe sitting there like like just like checking and like stuff like that you notice that there's something in your left pocket that seems paperish um the second officer then starts searching as well what do you do officers i have to go to the bathroom real quick i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> it just started i need to like you know you guys know, right? You guys have like wives. <laughs> I, I really, I really like these pants. I don't want to stain them. Can I please You're... go to the bathroom? Like, go to the bathroom. <laughs> you, you enter the bathroom. How do you proceed? Check the paper. You pull it out. It seems to be a crumpled note mm -hmm. that was left in your, your pants. You've never seen it before. Okay, open it. 
open. As you open it, it's <laughs> it's your father's handwriting, and it says, "Don't trust, get out." <gasps> okay. Open a pad for fuck's sake to make the noise, <laughs> and then put the paper in the toilet and flush it. The note and proceed. Go out. Oh, actually, that doctor. Yeah, it's bad this time. Can you guys take me, please? Like, I think I might bleed out. Oh my god. <laughs> We're done here. And they, the two officers then leave the home and drive away from their cruiser as they kind of slowly go around the corner to where you're now home alone. So they're gonna reimburse us for this or <laughs> what? I guess yeah, I'll just, fucking just shattered my whole house. Oh my god. Um, I'll just start searching where they were searching too, I guess, see if I can find anything. Sure. Oh, oh another, nice. Another 10? Yeah. Ooh. And no. Ooh. Clean. You are oh. super <laughs> You look through everything that they looked. You don't find anything in particular. What you do notice is that, like, what the fuck are they searching for? Where they basically are looking for, like, some kind of information, some secret. They're looking mainly, they looked in between books. They ripped out books. They, they checked for wiring in your lights. The main place of damage is your father's office, which is just a desk. Um, there's a chessboard on top of it, and there's a, a, like a couple cabinets and dressers, but there's cabinets knocked over, papers thrown everywhere. Um, whatever they were looking for, they did not find it. Mm. But neither did you. Right. They wired something, like implants oh, or anything? Oh, they want to check if they planned something. Yeah. Uh, actually, no brains. Sure, brains. I'm like, that thing's kind of smart. Yeah, that is, that <laughs> is smart. That seems like brains. That is smart, that is smart, that is very smart. Oh, crit fail. Aww. I didn't find shit, sorry guys. It's a very energetic day. Uh, you'll notice that people are setting up, uh, ASB is setting up for prom. Uh, big prom signs, Glenwood prom. Uh, oh there's string God, things yes. going, this is all happening around you. Um, How cute. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, so problems right around the corner. People do that. Know. You've got your camera, uh, and you're taking pictures of all the, the clubs. The first club that you're taking a photo of is the cheerleaders squad. Um, you notice that Abby has them like kind of like surrounding her, mm -hmm. where like she's like Clubby. kneeling, so she's like lower than them all. Like she's kneeling, like Gee, like I'm the queen, <laughs> and so and the other ones are standing like around her. Oh, okay. um, That's pretty funny. And, Wait, uh, is Abby known as like a bully? Like, you know that she's bullied Meadow throughout okay. like middle school, but then like. Like, just like passive, like, you know, she okay. talks shit. She uses her to cheat on exams, but mm. then everything else, like, jerk. Until, she's just a bitch. Uh, okay. She goes, hello, hurry up and take the photo, you dumb bitch. Oh! And, um, oh my. Uh, what do you want to do? All these people are... Oh, my it's camera not... just decided to stop working, stops working on ugly people, I don't know. Oh! oh. Maybe, uh, Allie, right? Can you, like, maybe try to blend in with the rest of your team? If you guys all pose the same, it won't really catch your face on it. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you dig your own grave there. Oh, oh I'm so scared. Oh, oh my god. I'm so Never scared piss. for her. Never piss off the photographer. <laughs> very, very accurate. Um, That's why you're my best friend. <laughs> like, were why weren't you there with me? I can use them as blunt weapons. Been there, those dumb cops. She stays there, and uh, basically other groups are are waiting. And like your yearbook uh, staff member, her name's Carrie, is like, just, just take the photo. <sighs> okay. And she, you said she's standing in the middle. She's, no, she's kneeling. She's kneeling. So, oh, I'll tilt the camera. Later. <laughs> As you go to take the photo, your camera jams. Your your lever seems to be stuck by something in the film. Please make a brains roll for me. Oh, that's so funny. Hello, so <laughs> well, five. So five is enough to know that uh, it seems to be a problem with like the loading of the film. Mm. So uh, that seems to be the problem. Okay, open it. This is not the way that you loaded the film. Mm. Someone else has loaded the film, and that there's something there's something jamming. Your lever, there's something inside your camera. Um, I just got chills. Oh my God. Uh, what did you say the girl's name was? Carrie? Uh, oh, the yeah, the uh, yearbook editor. Hey, Carrie, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I gotta get a new pack of film. I'm gonna run real quick and I'll be right back, I swear. I don't know what's going on with you today, but yeah, let's make it fast. Okay. 
Okay, so you, <laughs> then, uh, you then exit the gymnasium. You see as you're walking out the uh, the freaking like there's the the band club, uh-huh. the water polo club, <laughs> the the chess, the, the chess oh. club. And they're like, hello. The, the, <laughs> chess, the chess club knows you used to be in the chess club when you were in middle uh, school. Oh. oh, that's right, right. right. Ha- hello. Oh, cute. Hey guys. Oh, friends. <laughs> hey guys. See you uh-huh. later. Some Bye. difficulties. <laughs> Give me a few minutes, all right, The guys. band the band geeks are like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like playing instruments the hallway waiting. So you guys yeah, sound yeah. great. You guys sound great. Oh, how cute. Woo! Uh, okay, so what do you do now? Uh, well, I'll go back to the dark room. Oh. As you're unloading the, the film in the dark room where it's safe to like not get it exposed, whatnot, um, you find another crumpled note that's been jammed within your film. Okay, open it. a little hide or as you <laughs> open, I know. As, as you open it, there's a... Um, there's a note, it's in your dad's handwriting again, and it says, check on your locker. Mm. Okay. All of us got to be around. I know. <laughs> um, this is what, like fourth period or something? Yeah, it's late in the day. So is there a lot of people in the hallways? Mm, no, everyone's in class right now. Okay, I'd check it right now. Okay, make a flight to avoid the hall monitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh my God, those people hall. existed. Oh, oh, You're breaking the law! <laughs> Oh, oh no! Brutal. What's about to be? You run into Melvin, the Melvin. hall monitor. Melvin. What are you doing in my hallway? Melvin. Amora? Um, do, do you, you have a hall pass? Oh my god. Do you like actually want to know? Cause it's it's kind of gross. It's my job. <laughs> it's my job to know. These halls are patrolled because of me. Okay, so I take my job really seriously. All right, all right. I respect it. Yeah. It's what I live totally. for. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Totally. You're the like greatest hall monitor ever. I know! Yeah, you are! Okay, so you still want to know? Yeah! Alright. I can uh, handle it, I swear. Okay, so... <laughs> I wheezed! <laughs> I wheezed, that she was so good. Alright, so I was, wait, where are we taking the year before? In the gym? Yeah, gymnasium. So I was in the gym, uh, I had He's to get a new, notes. Fair, yeah, fair okay, gymnasium. yeah, yeah. What um, time is it? Tell me if I'm, if I'm going too, too fast, okay? What time is it? Uh, it's like 2.45, okay, I think. Great. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Am I going too fast? No. You good? Okay. I can go so, at any speed. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, With the notepad! <laughs> <laughs> or maybe no. Uh, this vest pulls the chicks. Sure. This hall monitor's vest pulls them. I don't doubt it, Melvin. I don't doubt it. So, uh, so yeah, no so I went to the dark room and then I I felt a little commotion in my tummy. So trouble um, in the tummy. <laughs> but it's like woman troubles. Woman. Okay. And then I started feeling something dripping out. So, uh, I don't That's all right. I think, you know, <laughs> I think, I think, I think I can give you a pass for our deep friendship. <laughs> you can go. All right. I, I got to go I? patrol these halls. All right. Uh, I see you grab my pass. Okay. I just okay. leave. <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> you are, you are, um, that is so genius. It's always, always the way. Go-to. You're in yeah. the clear. Oh, we'll be on my period like the whole month. Yeah. In regular cycles, it's this guy, you know? Pocket, just like, yeah, you're exactly. in the clear. What do you do now? Oh, my oh, my locker. oh, oh. Right, check for the open your locker. Okay, Everything you seems normal. <laughs> Make a brains check. Eight. Uh, sorry. Uh, you check your locker and you find that a secret compartment has been kind of like drilled up to the top. So you have like a top locker, okay. so it goes to the top, but it seems like there's a compartment up above. Okay. It's been faked. As you pull on it, it opens up, there seems to be a little compartment that drops down. There's something wrapped in like a cloth. You recognize the cloth from your kitchen. Okay. Open it. As you open it, you find chess piece. You know what the knight is, the horsey? Yeah. Okay, this is the horsey then. Not an actual knight sitting in your locker. Yes. <laughs> I'm Sir William. I have information for your father. So, so I wrote from right. Camelot. No, it's like a little wood piece. At this point. It's, it's a mar- it's a marble piece that's been like he like 
carved it. He like chiseled out like himself. Like this is his personal chessboard. Okay. That would be in his office. In um, my dad's office. Yes. Okay. 